So I thought it was important to create a video questioning whether or not you are dimming your light for other people. Because sometimes we try to bring ourselves down a couple of notches in order not to like, I don't know, look dumb or egotistical or intimidate other people or outshine them or, you know, sometimes we try to like lower ourselves just so that we're not shining our light too brightly, right? Because then you invite criticism, the haters, etc. So I want to make sure you guys are shining authentic light as brightly as you possibly can and living up to your full potential and really applying yourselves and doing your best. And I kind of caught myself doing this. Uh, I have a friend, Jessica, where when I call her, the words, the absolute show up on her phone. And she's like, hey, absolute, what's up? And so me calling myself the absolute is kind of like a running joke between the two of us. Like she gets it. She's just like, whatever, right? Um, but I have another friend who just sees me as, you know, a psychic and oftentimes I will just tell people I'm a psychic because trying to explain the absolute takes too long if they don't watch my YouTube channel and they have no idea what I'm all about. So it's like, I'm a psychic, you know, like whatever. But my friend who I was having dinner with the other day asked me, so what's up with this like absolute business? And I was like, well, I'm, I'm a channel of divine truth. And she's like, yeah, but the absolute is like God. And I'm like, mm-hmm. So I had a choice there. I had a choice to just be like, I know, I know it sounds crazy. Just let's just change the subject. But instead I just stood behind it. Like, mm -hmm, that's what I am. I'm an ascended master. Um, I am supposed to call myself the absolute. I'm a channel of divine truth. I went through a spiritual boot camp, and I actually do speak for the divine. And it's not easy. And she was like, okay, anyway, <laughs> and she changed the subject. But like I said, I had a choice to make. I could either dim my light and be like, oh, never mind, you know, I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm, I'm a psychic. It's like, I'm not just a psychic. <laughs> I'm not just a psychic. I'm the absolute. That's what my business card says. The absolute channel of divine truth. It's what I am. <laughs> I can't change it. And that's exactly what the other side wants me walk around to walk around saying. <laughs> I'm the absolute. I'm a channel of divine truth. I'm an ascended master. <laughs> my name is Christine Pavlina. It's my truth. It's not my ego. It's my truth. Does it look like my ego? Yes, absolutely. Do I look like a conceited freak who's just completely insane? Absolutely. Is it also my truth? Yes. Is it also the truth? Yes. Can't dim my light. I can't dim my light. It is what it is. Truth is true. Don't dim your light either. Speak your truth. Be who you are. Don't let other people intimidate you or embarrass you or make you feel like you need to bring it down a couple notches. Don't let people do that to you. Society, family members, friends, whatever. Stand in your power. Don't give your power away. Stand in your power. Speak what you know to be true. Be who you are. Sometimes, myself included, we like to engage in self-deprecating humor, right? Makes people like us. Maybe like people pleasing. People relate to us. You know, makes us more approachable. Self-deprecating humor. Well, the other side doesn't really like this very much because they want us to have like high opinions of ourselves and actually like toot our horns, which is the total opposite. So yeah, just be careful because sometimes we, you know, rip on ourselves to be funny, but maybe we're people pleasing. So just try to keep the self-deprecating humor in check because the other side says sometimes we use that to, you know, lower ourselves and appeal to others. Uh, number two, are you bowing to opinion? Are you worried about what others think of you? That again is people pleasing. Um, you know, we let the opinions of others control us and we need approval and compliments. We go along to get along. And what are we doing? We're coming from a place of ego. Caring what people think is coming from a place of ego. So try to keep that in check as well. Um, you know, another thing is, is we, if, if we go around constantly seeking advice, as opposed to turning inward and being self-reliant and busting out a journal and 
tuning into our intuition and our higher self and trying to get answers from within. We're like, oh, you know, seek advice from that person and that person and that person, just like this thirsty energy, like they have the answers and I don't. And sometimes it's great to get, you know, an outside opinion, <clears throat> someone who's not involved in your situation and doesn't have any emotional attachment to it and can see things from you know, a third party perspective. But at the end of the day, that's what your intuition is for. That's why it's so important to develop your intuition so that you can be self-reliant. And the other side is really, really big on your connection to your higher self and self-reliance. Trust me, <laughs> they're huge on that, huge on self-reliance and, and being able to stand on your own two feet and trust yourself and just know that the answers are within. Uh, another thing is, is they just want to make sure you guys aren't like oversharing because sometimes we overshare out of um, insecurity and trying to get people to like us. So it's like inappropriate disclosure. You know, you're allowed to have privacy. You're allowed to keep some things to yourselves <clears throat> with regards to personal information. And then also, what about your romantic partner? Are you running around, you know, sharing your romantic partner stuff all over the street? their personal information so your friends put them under a microscope or a petri dish and psychoanalyze them and you know rip them to shreds it's like that's not fair to your romantic partner either so be careful with that as well um, turn inward for answers with regards to your interpersonal relationships and, and try to see if you can work things out yourself as opposed to disclosing you know all this personal stuff and disrespecting your partner in, in the process uh, speaking of your romantic partner, <clears throat> do not dim your light for them. Be who you are. And if you can't be who you are within this romantic relationship, then you are not an energetic match for that respective individual. I'll give you an example. What if you are a psychic? You're supposed to be a psychic. It's your life purpose and you're just kind of starting to come out of the closet. Well, what if your boyfriend, you know, the, the morning after a party says, will you stop talking about spirit guides? You know, you really embarrassed me last night at that party. Everyone thinks you're nuts. I was so embarrassed that you started talking about angels and spirit guides. It's like, oh God, so ridiculous. Just shut up about that stuff. It's stupid. Well, unfortunately, your romantic partner is speaking for the dark because he's trying to pull you away from your truth. Truth is the light. That means he's speaking for the dark. So your relationship just lost the support of universal energies and staying together. Just like that, because he has free will. So unfortunately, your angels don't care about his ego <laughs> at all. So they'd be like, oh, this is your life purpose. Sorry, bye-bye. And they would somehow pull her away from him because they're not going to let her shut up or feel shame and guilt for something that is her truth. They're not going to let her romantic partner squelch her or prevent her from shining her light brightly. So, you know, there's certain situations where your romantic partner doesn't necessarily have to pull you away from your life purpose. It's like, all right, I'll let you pursue this life purpose, but I just want to let you know that I'm totally embarrassed by it. <laughs> and I'm kind of like ashamed and whatever. It's like, oh, okay, you know what? That's not good enough for me. I, I still think you should go. <laughs> like, maybe you deserve a romantic partner that actually supports you in your life purpose and is positive and encouraging, but people have free will. They can say whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. But you have a choice of how you respond to those free will decisions and how your partner treats you. So just be conscious and aware of that. Don't dumb yourself down for a romantic partner that doesn't approve of your life purpose. Find somebody that supports it because you deserve that. That's a form of self-love. And honoring yourself and your God-given gifts and talents. And another thing is, is you know, um, your, you and your boyfriend are automatically considered incompatible energies because one of you is aligned with truth and the other one isn't. So pff, incompatible energies don't kick it together on the weekends. But along those same lines, the advice that you're getting is shine your light, right? Be who you are. Be authentic. Lead an authentic life because you're going to attract people to you who are not intimidated by your loving nature or your strength. They like rise up to meet you and you guys are compatible energy supporting each other. And maybe the personal growth and development energetic exchange between the two of you guys is fantastic. You foster these God-given gifts and talents within each other and encourage the other ch each other to like do more, be more, be better. And so you're just asserting yourself and applying yourself and really trying and putting yourself out there and really shining your light brightly for the world to see. That's what they want because, you know, I always say shine your light. It's like, well, there's degrees of shining your light. How high are you going to turn that up? 
Are you going to... I'm shining it. Okay. I'm kind of like the turtles peeking out of the shell. It's like, okay, I'm kind of shining it. I'm kind of out of the closet as a psychic, just a little bit. You know, there's certain degrees of how brightly you do shine that light. And so that's why your angels are interested in putting it on blast. Turn that volume up, baby. Open up that throat chakra and speak your truth. Right? And, um, yeah, you know, oftentimes our personal power is squelched by an employer, you know, a customer service job, whatever, it robs you of your personal power and your overall attitude and energy kind of depletes. Well, that's why it's so important to figure out what your God-given gifts and talents are, open your heart to humanity and decide how you're going to share that with the world. It's, it's a process. It's a process. So, but stand in truth, stand in truth and be who you are. And the, the other, the other side of that, the, is like I said, super important is just authenticity and being completely real. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why reality TV show is TV shows are so popular is because people are being real and authentic and flawed and they're not perfect and they're not afraid to tell the world that. And so people relate to that. They're like, Oh, I, I totally went through the same thing. I can totally relate to this person. I suffer from you know, anxiety and depression too, or whatever, you, you know, where they're, they're struggling as well. And they relate to this person who's sharing. So yeah, you know, let them see who you really are. Um, so that you can attract authentic relationships to yourself and energetic matches for, for yourself. You know, the right people will be attracted to who you are as a soul. And your relationships will be deeper and, and more meaningful and more fulfilling for you on, on a spiritual level. Um, you know, like I said, people who aren't in competition with you or intimidated by you, but you guys both shine your lights brightly together. And it's not like a, you know, one up or anything like that. It's let's encourage that in both of us. Let, let, let's neither one of us try to like hold the other person down, but support one another in those talents, in those gifts so that, you know, humanity can benefit from you sharing that with them and just really showing the world who you are, letting people see who you are. Um, there's, there's people that I actually used to work with where I was like, really? I had no idea you were creative. I thought you were like more of a technical guy. And it really freaked me out because I'd worked with them for years and I was like, God, just goes to show you that, you know, whatever light you're shining, that's how people are going to see you. So who do you want to be? <laughs> it's totally up to you. Um, but yeah, shining authentic light and being, um, you know, authentic is a tool for creating the life you want. And in the meantime, take care and be well. Thank you.